Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and today is all about getting started with Windows Server 2019 RDS, and RDS stands for Remote Desktop Services. So let's get started. So first things first, on my desktop, I'm going to right-click on the Start menu, go to Run, type in WinVER, hit OK, and I'm doing everything inside a Windows Server 2019 version 1809, build 17763. Okay. So first thing we need to do is click on Start, uh, locate your server manager, let it load up, and once it's fully loaded up, we are going to go to the upper right corner, click on Manage, Add Roles and Features, and you're going to get the Add Roles and Features wizard. From here, click on Next. Uh, this option, you want to pick Remote Desktop Services Installation, and then click Next. And from here, rather than doing a standard deployment, we are going to do a quick startup or a quick start. Click on next. Your deployment scenario would be the following, a session-based desktop deployment. Click on next. And then just make sure that the server, right? For me, I only have one server, which is vrds.btnhd.edu. Uh, I just basically selected it and make sure it's on the right-hand side right here. Okay, gotta make sure it's over here, okay? Once you do that, you are going to click on next. Once you click on next, it's going to give you a confirmation of what the following roles are going to be installed on the particular server. Then you, you are going to check off restart the destination server automatically. Once you do that, you're going to see that the deploy button will highlight and click on deploy. Then you're going to see three tasks, which is pending. And eventually your machine is going to reboot on itself. Once it reboots, log into your machine and then you will see on a notification side that it's going to pop up this dialog box right here stating remote desktop licensing mode is not configured. Let it be. You want to click on start, locate server manager, click on server manager, let it load up. Once it loads up, you're going to see that the add roles and feature wizard dialog box pops up and is basically configuring the remote desktop services session and the remote app program services uh, eventually you're going to see each one seceded which is a good thing once each service is seceded you're going to see your uh, rd web access address you're able to click on it when you click on it your default browser will load up for me was my internet explorer and you are able to just uh, get into it uh, it's going to say not secure because it doesn't have an ssl certificate as of yet but you are able to just click on more info and just go to go to the website. Not recommended, but again, it's a local machine. It's within your infrastructure. You're able to do it and it's going to load up. Now within your server manager, you are going to locate remote desktop services. Click on it and you're going to see a nice little overview. Uh, you're going to get the basic default stuff. So if you click on quick session collection right here, you're going to see that a couple of apps and programs already advertised within your web access. Uh, by default, calculator, you have paint and WordPad. You are able to configure this to whatever you want, which is pretty cool. Now, we're going to go back inside overview. And within overview, we need to configure the RD licensing and the RD gateway. Now, the first one that we're going to do is basically the RD licensing. So we're going to click on it and you're going to get the dialog box. I only have one server, so I'm just going to click on this button to move it over and then click on next and then uh, confirmation and just click on add and it's gonna start installing or adding, right? Once it's completed, it's going to say seceded and you're going to close it and you're basically done. Next thing that we need to do is click on the RD gateway. Now the RD gateway, when you click on it, dialog box pops up. Again, I only have one server within this uh, implementation, so I'm gonna click on the arrow key to move it over and there you go. And then you're gonna click on next and then the SSL. Now the SSL certificate name, I want it to be vrds.btnhd.edu. It's basically the name of my server, my fully qualified domain name of my server. And we are going to then click on next. And then it's going to give you a nice little confirmation. And then you click on add and it's gonna start installing itself. And then you're done. Uh, if you click on configure certificate, this is where you are able to configure your certificate. Click on this little highlight. Click on this hyperlink right here and you're going to get the configure the deployment part for the certificate and you want to select RD gateway and then on the scroll bar go all the way down and you're going to have two options. You have create new certificate or select an existing certificate. Now if you need to create a new certificate just click on this button right here create a new certificate follow the prompts and you know 
uh, I think you have to create a CSR request and send that over to whatever you know website you're trying to get your SSL and then create one for that. I haven't created an SSL certificate as of yet. I think on the second part, I'm going to do that and show you guys how to implement it on this. But we're going to stop here for this video. But you guys are up and running. If you do have a certificate, again, select this right here. Select this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Oh, my pen. That like button. Also, make sure to subscribe and share out the video. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.